episode of Niger Wedding Expo. This is a series that I'll be telling you all the things you need to know about weddings in Nigeria, the things that you should do and you shouldn't do, the pros and cons of weddings in Nigeria. On this series, we will be giving you all the interesting packages that will help you to understand how Nigerian weddings are being done. Of course, we'll be touching the various tribes and what they do and what they do not do in the process. You do not want to miss this. I'm Temi Toka Kopola Olaya. This is Legit TV. This is an introduction ceremony. In Yoruba land, like every other tribe in Nigeria, it is important for the couples to have the introduction ceremony. This is where the families get to meet officially and then the dates for the engagement or wedding is eventually chosen. You will be having a good time. <laughs> Introduction ceremony is similar to an engagement ceremony. However, the latter is a bigger event and can also be referred to as the traditional marriage. Of course, you will get to see what an engagement ceremony looks like in a future episode. For the purpose of smoothness, an engager or spokesperson is required for an introduction ceremony to be done. This person anchors the event and coordinates the activities of the family. During the introduction ceremony, the engager matches out the family of the groom if they are already seated. She makes them enter the arena in a grand style while paying homage to the host, the family of the bride. The engager goes back and forth carrying messages from the family of the bride and speaking on the behalf of the family of the groom. This is not without the family of the groom paying though. The engager has balls dropped at certain times for the family of the groom to drop money into. She asks them for the purpose of their visit and conveys the answer to the family of the bride who then gives approval for them to be allowed into the premises. My role as an engager is to introduce the both family together. Most of the most of the time, families they, they don't have boldness to approach each other if there is no intermediary between them. So my role there is to introduce each family to each other, and my role is able to uh, 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 help the husband give him boldness to be able to talk to the family of the bride. The sitting arrangement is done in such a way that the groom's family members are directly opposite that of the brides. Depending on how big the event is being planned, the agenda may or may not waste time. The groom is then asked to come into the arena accompanied by his friends. The groom is expected to dress fashionably. The engager makes him reveal his purpose of being there. You will be asked to appreciate his parents and family members for raising him the right way. Next is made to go towards the family of the bride. It is at this point that he and his friends get to prostrate and pay homage to that family. Once he has done all the engager requires him to do and has sorted out financially, he is then asked to take a seat amidst his family members. The bride is then called upon. She dances into the arena with her friends. 
even I do not want to carry last here. What she's been asked to do is similar to what the groom did earlier. The engager instructs her to go find a man amidst those sitting and makes her bring him forward. This, of course, is done amidst cheers as sometimes the groom's friends try to distract brides in order to make the event more interesting. After finding him, they are being prayed for before they move to the seat that has been prepared for them. The gifts brought by the family of the groom are then presented. An introduction ceremony can be merged with an engagement ceremony at times. When this is done, the couple is considered married. And what is the importance of the introduction ceremony itself? Introduction is the first step that should be taken in any marriage. If you don't know the parents of whom you are giving your child to, or you don't know where your child is, the, the husband is coming from, it's difficult to trace them in the future. So the first thing is to know the father, to know the mother, to know where you come from. If there is enough time, you know the occupation of both parents. Both husband side and um, wife side, they have, have, they have consent. They have approval towards their marriage. That the both the both parents were eager and they approved, they're happy to give their son and their daughter marriage. The kind of joy that everyone aspires to do in life. And it adds value to one's life. As a woman, when you are, when you did not do any introduction or engagement or wedding, you know, people will not really respect you. So it adds value to one's life and it also adds value to the family that the bride and the groom came out from. Well, we had an interesting time at this introduction ceremony. By now you must have gotten a hang of what the introduction process in Nigeria looks like. Well, so the next episode again is going to be a bye from me. A big shout out to Bryce Daniels, the man behind the camera. Thank you for bringing us this footage. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Till the next time we meet on Legit TV, it's a bye. Bye.